Hi there, I'm Chrissy. This is my YouTube channel, Chrissy Love, where I review perfume. And if you're a frag head like me, you are in exactly the right place. Today I have a six perfume haul. One I have my eye on and my nose on already, I'll be honest. Um, but let's jump right into my six perfume haul. So I'm going to start off with one that I already did a detailed review when it very first came out when it was brand new. And that is Dolly Parton's Scent From Above. It's kind of a fun bottle. The color is a little bit funny for me. I'm not really an orange lover, but it's cute how the butterfly is kind of cocked to the side like it's flying off. It's fun, right? I'll link the full review I did before below if you want like the detail and the information on Dolly and all that stuff. But for now, I'll just do a quick review of this one. So Dolly Scent of Above, Scent from Above. It has top notes of pear, peony, black currant, and mandarin orange, middle notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, and vanilla orchid, and base notes of amber, musk, sandalwood, tonga bean, patchouli, and fur. And on first spray, it has a very makeup box kind of smell, kind of vintagey. It's powdery, but sweet. And it has this elang elang smelling floral on my skin. And in the dry down, it's basically a vintage inspired soft musk with some florals. To me, it feels very ethereal, like candied petals. It's gentle, it's comforting. It doesn't smell super modern. It definitely does not smell like any celebrity perfume I've smelled before. It kind of reminds me of like a 1950s debutante walking down the stairs at her coming out ball. You know, it, it just feels timeless and easy and effortless and like, comforting to those around you and also to me I find it comforting to me as well and my understanding is that this perfume is supposed to be what Dolly Parton actually smells like it could just be good marketing I'm never getting close enough to her to actually know <laughs> but I can imagine her smelling like this because she's such a kind open giving soul um, and that's what this really gives off so it's not like the go downtown sexy kind of perfume it's more like a day wear perfume relaxing casual around the house kind of perfume performance wise i did had to re have to respray it about three times throughout the day to like really keep the bubble around me so the performance wanes throughout the day um, but it's like softer lighter perfumes so that kind of makes sense and also um, i will note that it sweetens up on my skin over time too so if you like really sweet scents this will get sweeter and sweeter on you throughout the day if you don't like sweet scents you probably won't really enjoy this one so much um yeah so this is one i'm so excited to have a full bottle of. i only had a sample size before and by the way this is the eau de parfum version i saw there is an eau de toilette version out now i haven't tried that one yet but i'm really happy with eau de parfum so that is dolly's scent from above next one was very hyped by a lot of people people said it was like the quintessential vanilla you had to have in your collection so i was like okay gotta try this one and i gotta say i'm a little bit let down but that is m mikalef's elang in gold i only got it in this travel spray but i'll put a picture of the full-size bottle so you can see that but let's talk about this real quick so this has top notes of free notes peach lychee sage tangerine artemisia rosemary geranium and bitter orange middle notes of ylang ylang sandalwood mint magnolia rose and lily of the valley and base notes of vanilla coconut musk and oak moss and on my skin when i first sprayed it it had this really plasticky doll's head smell to it and kind of like an aldehyde like quality so it, it was kind of like a vintage doll's head scent on my skin but in the dry down it turned into this faux vanilla extract like if you buy like the cheap knockoff vanilla extract for baking that's what it smelled like with a little bit of that plastic still in there so when i read the other notes like musk and coconut i can sniff them out i do get them but on my skin, it kind of just smells like a cheap vanilla and it's a little bit headache inducing. Like I could tell that if I really oversprayed it and you know, I only had it on like, like my, my arms, I didn't like spray it all over my whole body just so I could like test it without, you know, committing to it. And I could tell if I oversprayed it, I'd probably eventually get a headache from this. So probably very unpopular opinion of this perfume, but it just doesn't smell like a really chic upscale vanilla like I really thought it was going to, especially because it's quite expensive. Performance wise though, it does have really great projection end longevity. So if you like it, 
it's going to perform great for you. And I do love the juice. It has these gold flecks in it and it looks kind of milky. So I really do love the juice in this. That's a really cool thing. Um, I'm Just because it's been so hyped, I'm gonna give it one more day of wear, but I'm probably gonna eventually declutter that one. Yeah, so that is M. Mikalef Ylang in gold. This next one, I am so excited to have my collection. Oh my God, it is a throwback from 2007 it came out. It's Victoria's Secret's Sweet Craving. And I have like the smallest little bottle of it. You can see it's so tiny. And um, this is from their Mood Collection. This is back when, gosh, I was in college then. So I was shopping more of like Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret for my sense. And this one I had the candle of and I also had the lotion in and I just adored it. I thought it was so great. Um, now the notes, on this are really straightforward. So this is just vanilla, sugar, and musk. And on my skin, I'm just so excited to have this back in my collection. <laughs> By the way, I paid $50 for this little bottle. So I was really praying it was still gonna smell as good as I thought it did, because it's been a long time since I've had my nose on it. And guess what? It does. It's amazing. Um, truly a unicorn that I am so excited to have. Um, so on first, not spray, because it's a little like a dabber. I'm gonna put it into a spray bottle, actually. Um, but on first application on my skin, it has this tooth achingly sweet vanilla frosting scent to it, with just a hint of musk. And in the dry down, it kind of gives me cherries and cream vibes. I know cherry isn't a note, but it has a little bit of like a fruitiness to it that kind of makes it less sugary. But it still has this sweet, dense muskiness to it. It's really creamy, it's rich, it's delectable, it's super alluring. This is one that is like, sweet craving is the right word for it. You like, you get it on your skin, and you're just like, oh, I wanna smell this forever. It's so sexy, but it's very, very sweet. Um, mm, and it doesn't smell cheap. Like, it smells like a high quality ingredient, well blended perfume. For in Victoria's Secret sense, I'm not actually a big fan of many other scents. I don't think there's even well, I recently did a review of Candy Noir and Creme Cloud from the Tease Collection, so I'll link those below if you're interested in that. And those impressed me a little bit, but generally I don't wear Victoria's Secret perfumes. So this is one I'm super excited to have again. I'm gonna be nursing this little bottle. Uh, Performance-wise, it is absolutely beast mode. Like, like any early 2000s perfume, it just sticks to you like crazy and projects all day. So I think this one will go pretty far for me. So yeah, and I'll just read the description on the bottle here because it's kind of fun. It's a piece of cake, sexy vanilla, sparkling sugar candy, lickable lollipop, arousing as icing, enticing as rich whipped cream, set with the sweet smell of innocence and desire. So yeah, that is extremely accurate. This is amazing. And it's so hard to find. <laughs> so this goes into my unicorn pile here. So that is Victoria's Secret's Sweet Craving. This next one I got in my scent bird last month and it is Heretic's Dirty Coconut. And I'm actually not a big coconut lover for perfumes. So, but the, in the description it said this was like a coconut perfume like no other. It's not beachy, it's totally different. It has plant, it's plant-based and they say it has sustainably harvested sandalwood in it. I said, okay, let's give this a shot because I am still looking for my perfect coconut perfume. I have no coconut perfumes in my collection because I just really don't usually like them very much because they are usually too beachy for me. Um, ooh, now I'm smelling it again. This is exciting. Um, so the top notes are cedar and vanillin. The male notes are coconut and CO2 extracts. And the base notes are sandalwood, vanilla absolute, and ambertone. Now, on first spray on my skin, it has this really natural coconut scent to it, of course. And it has great sandalwood. It's a quality, lovely sandalwood that really holds its own. And it brings kind of an incense feeling to it. But in the dry down, I honestly got let down because it is really a typical watery, fleshy coconut smell. So if you like coconut, you are gonna love this. It is a beautiful interpretation of coconut, um, but it is just coconut. It doesn't really have, I wish the sandalwood stuck with it longer than the dry down on my skin. It just didn't really hang out with me. Um, performance wise though, it's really excellent. It lasted all day on my skin and it projected reasonably well. It wasn't like beast mode, but it, I could smell it throughout the day. So it was very satisfying for performance. But yeah, unfortunately it's another coconut. It's a nice coconut. It's 
of the coconuts I've smelled, it's a fantastic coconut, but it is really just coconut. So, oh well, you know, you win some, you lose some, that's okay. <laughs> so that is Heretic's Dirty Coconut. My final two kind of come as a pair. I got them from this sale. It's Jacqua. So Jacqua does like that quintessential buttercream frosting scent. It's been around Gosh, since I was in high school, it's been around. So I got the raspberry buttercream frosting and the coconut buttercream frosting perfume roller balls. I'll show you them here. So these um, are made with natural oils, so they are like an oily roller ball. And um, so I'll start with the coconut buttercream frosting. It was my, my least favorite of the two, actually. But on my skin, it first it's like a decadent sugar frosting and I get a little bit of hint of like a coconut toasted co coconut flake kind of scent to it so there is some coconut in there but it's really heavy on the buttercream frosting but in the dry down it really turned into this lackluster sweet coconut for me it didn't really really check the boxes for me the buttercream kind of faded back and it was just like a really sweet coconut and as you know I don't love coconut <laughs> But performance wise, it really sticks to my skin. It is an oil, so obviously it stays around, but projection is not great with the oil. They also have body sprays. I don't think they have spray perfumes. I'm pretty sure they don't. Um, Cause I really prefer like a nice spray or a perfume because the oils and the roller balls in general generally just don't project as much as I want them to. I like to be able to spray in my hair and my clothes and stuff like that. And I would no way put this on my clothes or my hair. It's just, it's straight up oil in here. So yeah, that one was a little bit disappointing, but not nasty by any means. And then the next one I have here is the raspberry buttercream frosting. And this was a little bit better. I like the raspberry in this a lot. So at first it has a really overpowering raspberry. So the frosting is really far in the background, though it is quite sweet still, holding its own in that way. So it's very tart and juicy. And then in the dry down, it smells like juicy raspberry with whipped cream, which is decadent. It's delicious. And I really like that. Um, but performance wise, again, same deal. It sticks to my skin. If I put my nose to my skin, I can smell it, but it doesn't project the way I really want it to just because it's a rollerball. So great scent, but unfortunately probably not the medium I really need for it. So that's probably gonna get decluttered. And speaking of declutter, I am soon filming a massive, massive declutter. So stay tuned on my channel and check that subscription box so you can get that when it comes out because it's gonna be wild and I am so excited for it. So that is my six perfume haul. It's been great to have you here. Let me know what you've been wearing lately. I would love to hear. And thanks for being here. I hope you have a very beautiful day.